The following podcast is fan-made and in no way associated with Steam, Valve Corporation, or your mother. Also, it contains highly explicit language, so get the f*** out if you don't want to hear it. All right. <laughs> All right. Welcome to another episode of the Late Night Steamer Podcast. My name is Sir Viper Four Five Eight Zero, and with me this week is DJ Pimp Daddy. Hey, nice to be back. And Linux could not be with us this week. Uh, we wish him the best. He's kind of dealing with a medical problem right now. We, we hope that uh, he, he's cured within time. Maybe he needs a, a blessing from Jesus. Who knows? Uh, yeah, and uh, we're going to post a, uh, a link to his address. If you guys actually want to send him a steamer in a box, I think that would cheer him up. <laughs> That's the main thing. Community effort, guys. Yes, Come on. Yes, community effort. Uh, this show is recorded on J- June 24th, 2012, and uh, it's episode 12. So I think I said <laughs> that already. I'm not sure if I did or not. But uh, this show is also sponsored by Head Crab. Apply directly to the forehead. Head Crab. Apply directly to the forehead. Head crab, apply directly to the forehead. Head crab, apply directly to the forehead. Whew. Let's breathe. Let's breathe. Okay. <laughs> Where is a crowbar when you need one? I'm just saying. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, so this week we had some game giveaways. Uh, DJ, why don't you go ahead and uh, say what you gave away this week? Yeah, I gave away uh, my last copy of Cities XL 2012, a.k.a. <laughs> SimCity on steroids. Nice, uh, nice. I gave it to a guy named Gasso. Uh, I think his actual Steam gift name was Make Em Be, though. But, uh, gotcha. Seems like a good guy. I think he's in like a completely foreign country, so I don't know if I violated any sort of export you know, tariff thing. So. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Either way, it's Steam's fault for letting me give it to him. So. Indeed, indeed. Uh, I gave away a copy of Super Meat Boy, and I really don't want to pronounce this name. I, I'm just like looking at this, like, oh my god! Wow, uh, that is a terrible name. Vyacheslavich <laughs> is the best pronunciation I could get out of that. Uh, his address was like from the <laughs> Russian Federation, so I don't even know if he can actually technically accept the game. But I sent it to him anyway. He hasn't technically uh, checked the whole. Uh, I have received this game yet, so I hope he does that soon. But I'm going uh, to uh, copy paste his name into the chat window. Yeah, there so you they go. They can all there clear their throat <laughs> while saying his name. Yeah, that's that's some crazy stuff, man. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty bad. <laughs> all right. Well, uh, DJ, why don't you go ahead and take us into the first section for tonight? Certainly. Uh, we're going to go into the steaming pile of news. Nice. Uh, basically, this week we got two games that either have demos or free to play. Yay! First off, we have. Uh, hang on, let me let me get my voice ready, my enthusiastic voice. <laughs> <laughs> we have Magic: The Gathering: Duel of the Plane Walkers, 2013. <laughs> That's a great enthused voice, by the way. <laughs> yeah. Well, you know the. The, the demo video for it is just over the top in your face. Mm-hmm. And uh, and then when you actually boil down to the actual gameplay, it just like it's, it turns into high school girls in trouble. So. <laughs> the plot is face a greater challenge with Magic the Gathering Duels Plane Walker 2013 ex- exclamation point. In the latest version of this hit franchise, <clears throat> uh, yeah, whatever. Uh, play with friends or the AI as you travel across. Cross fantastic planes, take on new encounters and opponents, solve challenging puzzles, and face up to three other players in the plane chase multiplayer format. It is a massive 10 bucks, Windows only, thank God. There is a special edition for $19.99. It's got some soundtrack and some extra shit that's not even worth mentioning. Aww. So basically, it comes down to, you know, they do have a demo, so we, we will we'll respect that, but... Jesus Christ, is it who how bored do you have to be to play a card game on your computer? I actually really enjoy playing uh Duels of the Plane Walker. I have the 2012 edition. I bought gold and uh, I I actually bought some of the foil upgrades for it because it is a lot of fun. 
Uh, I, I'm interested in this kind of stuff. So I'm, I'm really? hearing you ripping on it. And I'm like, oh boy. <laughs> it's like, oh, whatever. Oh boy. Uh, no, it's cool. I mean, like, don't get me wrong. There's a lot of people that share that same opinion. So, I mean, there's nothing wrong with that. Don't get me wrong. <laughs> but like, there, there's a game store up the street from my house where they sell all sorts of weird stuff, you know, like board games kind of stuff. And I go in there every now and then and there's like people playing this game. Mm. And I just be like, you guys are nerds. I just keep walking. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, like, I'm a nerd, but damn, dude. Yeah, yeah. No, I mean, it's a lot of fun, especially because, like, I have a few friends that plays this with me, and we'll get on to, like, the Steam chat or, uh, you know, Skype chat, and we'll talk about it as we're playing it, and we'll start, like, trash-talking each other like crazy. And that's really where the fun kind of comes in. I mean, if you're playing against the computer, you're just kind of sitting there like, yup. Really? Yup. But, like, when you get no. your friends involved, it is a lot of fun. Answer me this, like it's it, I, I I know nothing about how to play this actual base game, right? Mm -hmm. Is this like where you're playing with cards against your friend's cards, and then like you you can actually lose some of your cards to your friend, or is it just like you you your cards are like segregated from his cards? Uh, there's no wagers. I mean, you can do wagers like in the oh, excuse me in the real life version of it, but like in the PC version of it, you pretty much have like a starter deck that, that you can use. And then as you purchase more decks, you can kind of build your own deck, and you take your deck against your friend's deck, and, uh, you know, you can kind of battle it out that way. Uh, some of the cool game modes that comes with it, though, is that you can have a 2v2, where it's like you and a friend versus two other friends, and it's, you, you all have your separate decks, but a lot of ways, like, your, your, each other's decks can actually kind of play towards each other, or you can play completely separately and hope to God to kind of do the divide and conquer aspect of it. Huh. Um, I've never done in this one. They're they're talking about how you can do like a a complete like four man mayhem type of thing. I've yet to be able to do something like that, uh, but it does look very interesting, and I, I'm definitely intrigued to play something like this. I want to quickly say a couple of things from chat. Uh, Keeper says that he has the 2012 version and the other one as well. So thank you, Leper Keeper. You're the man. Uh, Short Kid said Yu Gi Oh for Game Boy for the win. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yu-Gi-Oh! was a uh, totally card game on the Game Boy. And then, it, then Pokemon had to follow that up with the uh, the Pokemon trading card game for Game Boy, and that was terrible. <laughs> that was so bad. So, <laughs> Pokemon. Yeah. Pokemon! Okay, that's as much as I'm going to sing of that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, that's just terrible. That's just terrible. Uh, by the way, there's another siren coming for the show, so there you go. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, and then Foundry says, I've wanted to try it out just because I feel like I'm missing out since it keeps coming out. Um, get the demo. Get the demo. That's the best way to check this out and see if it's for you. The greatest thing about this is this is perfect for people that have never played Magic the Gathering before. They have a tutorial mode that walks you through all the crazy-ass rules. And that's my only real complaint about Magic the Gathering is that the rules are, are kind of by card, not necessarily by game. So one card could totally change the complete balance of the game. It's psychotic. Hey. <laughs> uh, but the tutorial teaches you that stuff. It helps you out, so that way you understand it. This is the greatest way to get yourself an introduction to the game without going bonkers. Going, what the fuck? What did you do that? How did you do this? What the fuck? <laughs> Uh, well, uh, the 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 special edition does come with some sort of foil packs, I guess. I'm yeah. not sure what that means. It's upgraded <laughs> versions of the same card. Uh, Geek Culture uh. Happy Hour asked, do you have to buy packs or earn them from gameplay? And uh, Leopard Keeper actually answered the question, both. Uh, you, do, you do get a set of decks that you can use. God damn it. <laughs> what? I, are you hearing this? Like, fucking, my network operations guy's trying to call me on my cell phone. Apparently, <laughs> apparently Chicago is going crazy right now. <laughs> but anyway, uh, <laughs> you have cards that you start off with, and you get some seriously good decks. Uh, but you could purchase more decks later on to kind of suit your style. So it works out both ways. Uh, and Short Kid says, they're coming for you, Scott. Listen, I never <laughs> confess to that dead body that is in the dumpster behind the Farwell Street, Okay. Oh, shit. Hey. Um, <laughs> anyway. All right. But yeah, that that is my nerd uh, my nerd rave about uh, Magic the Gathering. I say check it out. So you can at least get the demo. Try it for free. So. Um, go ahead. <laughs> I, I, swear, I have to send a text to my work. Okay. That's, that's how it's... Take the next one. I will go ahead and take the next Stupid one. Stupid operations. Uh, Vindictus. 
In a world tarnished by battle and despair, the remnants of mankind cling to an ancient prophecy. One day, when all of humanity's enemies are slain, the goddess will return to bring them to a mystical land of paradise called Irin. But the fight has waged for far too long, and <gasps> humanity is losing hope. This is a free-to-play game, bitches! Unlike anything that Microsoft <laughs> released. And you can check it out right now. Uh, I'm reading that verbatim, by the way. I believe DJ typed it up. <laughs> uh, yeah, I might have added the bitch-ass part. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my okay, God. when I saw the uh, when I saw this, you know, I saw the the announcement that it came out. I, I had no idea what it was. So I clicked on it, watched the the trailer. I'm like, oh yes, like yeah, we have to totally play this as a uh, as a. LNS invades. So. Yeah, uh, the the gameplay looks sick. Like seriously, it just it really looks so good. And like, I don't know how I could not have known about this game sooner. <laughs> I really don't. Yeah, and it runs. It's by I think Valve published it or something. Well, it's using the like Source they, engine. They, that's right. Yeah, they, they, the Source engine's running it. Yeah. And uh, t- when I played it tonight, um, I played about twenty five minutes. I got through the first opening scene, and, I, and I, I'm not, I'm just gonna tell you right now scott that that huge freaking spider mm-hmm. that's uh that's the first scene that's the opening scene so oh, once, fantastic. You, once you stomach that or if you want just give me your account and i'll log in beat your spider and then you could take over <laughs> fantastic uh that that sounds wonderful i i love dealing with massive creepy looking spiders it makes my day it's just it's it's like a fuzzy spider, so you know it's a lovable spider. <laughs> Matter of fact, this this girl goes up and hugs it. Um, one thing I will note is the game has impressive. Um, how do we say chest physics? I think is the PC <laughs> way to say it. Because I always play it as a female, you know, just because if I'm going to be playing something for a long time, I, I want something to look at, right? Yeah. And and by the way, you know, chicks with swords hot. So you know, shout out to our women. Our, our one yeah. single probably viewer out there that might be female. Who's not coming uh, in the chat to avoid the massive amount of testosterone flying. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's total sausage fest. Anyways. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I just want to make a real quick comment before you, I've, I've before you continue. I'm completely Before you continue. Here, <laughs> take this time to think about it. You were talking about girls with swords being hot. Uh, if I, Ivy yes. from Soul Calibur has taught me anything, it's that if you're going to be a female wielding, wielding a sword, you have to wear as little as little armor as humanly possible because what happens is is that your opponent is distracted by the ma- the massive amounts of bouncy boobies that they can't strike you anyway so it doesn't matter if you wear armor and ultimately you get all of the flexibility that you need to basically slice and dice your opponents so that's right so good on women scantily clad women that wield swords <laughs> behold the power of beauty <laughs> <laughs> yeah i i i don't get that yet yeah. Chick armor is just, yeah, it's like Victoria's Secret with metal, you know? There was there was a great <laughs> meme I saw, and I think it was done by Rage Comics. Uh, it was basically showing, like, there was this intro sequence with a guy in, in an RPG. And they're like, here's this helmet to help protect your head. This is the sword to help protect you. This is your chest armor, your pants, your gloves, your gauntlets, your shoulder pads. And everything. Like, they're just going bonkers <laughs> with all this stuff. And then they show a female character, and they show, like, a bra and bikini. I'm like, all right, here's to go. This will protect you from everything. <laughs> yeah, I was like, that's perfect. That's so perfect. Oh uh, uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, so, yeah. That's pretty much the the character, and then it, it dumps you out into like a, a hub town. So that's where we all need to meet up. So yeah. if you guys are gonna play with us, we're definitely. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and say we're definitely gonna do this some week for a uh, a let's play mm-hmm. or a uh, LNS invades. So everyone at least get through the intro sequence because yeah. that, that's a good half hour depending on how well you play so yeah uh real quick from the chat foundry said it's not bad nice quest hubs for easy groups uh and let's see uh zen rock says angry chicks with swords are hotter <laughs> <There you laughs> yeah i uh I, I did choose on my character they said you could you could pick like a facial expression and i, I gave her the sick smile one so. <laughs> nice very <laughs> awesome very awesome as long as uh, Randark doesn't show up with a horse, I think, we're good. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's that's what ruined the I fallen earth. I totally see that happening. I totally see that. Happening. <laughs> All right, you're able to take anyways, the next game now. 
we're going to move on to the <laughs> games without demos. Wah, wah. Okay. <laughs> well, only slightly, boo. They, these are some good games this week, so. Okay. Uh, we got Tiny and Big Grandpa's Leftovers. I wish I was making that up. Uh, Tiny and Big, a comic-style jump-and-slice platform where it gives you the unique ability to shape a whole world at your will. You are Tiny, a nerdy inventor who tries to reclaim his most beloved possession, Grandpa's white, fine-ribbed underpants. <laughs> <laughs> It's ten bucks, fourteen ninety nine with soundtrack, and it is. Uh, this is on Mac and Windows, and I'm sad to say this is the only game that came out this week for you Mac guys. So, however, having said that, um, it looks fun. I mean, I really wish this did have a demo. Yeah, this game needs a demo. Like, yeah, I'm looking at some of the footage. Comical puzzler sort of. Yeah, yeah. I mean. I... You know, I'm looking at the footage, don't get me wrong, like, it looks like it'll be entertaining, but for how long? Yeah. That's the real question. How long is this going to, like, entertain you? Because, like, it's, <laughs> it looks like it'll have that novelty, you'll jump in, you're like, oh, this is actually kind of cool, I got all this little gish, pound, <laughs> booyah, you know, all this stuff popping up, and it's like, oh, that's kind of cool, I like the novelty of it. Then, like, you know, ten minutes later, you're like, oh, God, make it stop! <laughs> Just make it stop! Uh, what, what were they thinking with that name? Holy crap, dude. Uh, yeah, I, I don't know, man. <laughs> what does that say? Zippy and Vandalcock? Oh, I, I don't that's know. The name of, that was uh, the name of the band, sorry. Nice. That sounds like a band name. It, it definitely does. Definitely does. Uh, it looks <laughs> I don't interesting. Know, I, it looks it interesting. does look, it looks fun. So mm-hmm. I, it, I put it on my wish list. So <clears throat> anybody has 10 bucks. <laughs> um, <laughs> Next, we're going to go on to Roller Coaster Rampage. Uh, Roller Coaster Rampage is a fast paced, high scoring competitive roller coaster simulator with destructive environments. Players compete to perform the best maneuver or manual maneuvers, collect the most gems, link the most track sections, and gain a first place on the leaderboards. Uh, it's 10% off, $8.99, and it is Windows only. Uh, I have to admit, don't you think like if you're building like, like a roller coaster you don't want it to be like you know competitive destructive environments <laughs> in a, a realistic world yeah i mean i, I wouldn't want to be that guy that builds the roller coaster <laughs> that kills 50 people at six flags great america so yeah i mean i totally understand that but in a video game perspective you know i i know a buddy uh joe from the ftw podcast he's huge in the roller coasters like his his life is based on roller coasters, and, and he's got such great knowledge of it. So when I saw this game, I'm thinking in my head, this is perfect for Joe. This is <laughs> this is the game for him because he can kind of step out of the, the bounds of reality and, and build a roller coaster that not only is absolutely psychotic, but you can blow shit up with it. And yeah. that, that's fantastic. So it All looks this interesting. Needs is like... This totally needs, like, PlayStation Move control, and it would be perfect. I'm just saying. <laughs> there you go. There you go. Uh, just be waving <laughs> wands around in here. I love that live chat picks one line out of everything that I said and rolls with it. You got Foundry who goes, guess who wants to be that guy? I already know who wants to be that guy. That's you, Foundry. And then Zenrock <laughs> says, I want to be that guy. <laughs> just like, yeah, I, I got it. Uh, Leopard Keeper says, I bought Roller Coaster Rampage. Graphics is great, but the controls will take a bit to get used to. So. It looks like you're trying to, like, on the fly, it looks like you're flying a roller coaster through, like, 3D space yeah. to try to hit midair gems, I think. Is this what? made by the same people that does the Kerbal Space Program? <laughs> <laughs> it's got the same premise. It totally could be. So. Yeah. One of these days, we're going to have Fondre on just to ask him his, his opinion on Kerbal Space Program. <laughs> all right. All right. All right. Hold on. Hold on. If Foundry is going to be on the show, you bring him on on the week that I'm not around. Because, uh, okay, okay. Because whenever Foundry and I get on a show, madness ensues. There is, <laughs> it is derailed. Be- and it's funny. We're, we're saying this while we're, we're playing. We're talking about a roller coaster <laughs> flying with no track. Yeah. yeah. Derailed. Yeah. Speaking of derailing. It, it, just the shows get derailed whenever I'm with Foundry. So you might want to bring him in on a week that I'm not around. <laughs> you know? Okay, um, we're going to move on to Frey. 
Fray is a fully simultaneous turn-based multiplayer strategy game set in a dystopian future in the year 2098 where human interaction is confined to virtual reality modules three mega corporations vie for control of earth wow that is such an amazing description yeah i see that was my <laughs> i was that was my fear with that is like the description is very underwhelming compared to how this looks and i i really want you guys to watch the trailer on this because the game looks just freaking awesome this is totally like this is up my alley cuz i'm a very, i'm a big sci-fi guy so you know you you look at the graphics of this thing and it's just like Wow, that's really cool. Mm. I'm not exactly sure how well the gameplay translates with it, but it just it looks good. It looks very good. So interesting. Take it as you will. Uh, okay. B Bruin says, Scott, that's not the object of the game. You need to penetrate the air. I think he's saying <laughs> that about. Uh, I, I think he meant that about Roller Coaster game. Rampage. Yeah, but oh well, that's funny. Well. I think I'm going to go ahead and give out my first copy of The Ship for using the phrase, penetrate the air. <laughs> the uh, Bruins99, uh, sh shoot me something on, on Twitter and I'll... I'll there you go. I'll, I'll send you a copy. Of, <laughs> actually, if you're on Steam, just message me on Steam. I'll send you a copy of The Ship. <laughs> there you go. There you... For using the phrase, penetrate the air. <laughs> I, I imagine that kind of being like pelvic thrust <laughs> to a barrel roll, to a barrel roll. Anyway, uh, <laughs> uh, we probably um, should move do on. They do have, uh, oh, let's no, see, no. fifteen ninety nine right now. It's on sale, and they have a four pack Windows. Uh, or I'm sorry, they have a four pack, uh, and it's only on Windows. So there you go. If you like Frey and you love Frey, you could share Frey with three other people. There you go. If you have like 60 bucks <laughs> <laughs> next we're going to move on to quantum conundrum uh when you as a young boy are dropped off to visit your uncle you notice something's wrong this could go in so many <laughs> <Yeah>. terrible directions <laughs> i was just thinking it i'm like that line alone <laughs> has way too much negative mm. going to First, he's not there to greet you. Second, there's an explosion about to, that happened <laughs> right as you arrive. And third, Fondre is in the house. No, uh, the house seems to be even weirder than you remember it. <laughs> wow, this is terrible. Okay, it's fourteen ninety nine. It's only on Windows. For nineteen ninety nine, you can get the game, the soundtrack, and two future DLC packs. Um, I. I'm sorry I ruined the you know the whole game description because the game does look interesting. <laughs> <laughs> it sort of reminded me like of a uh, if you sort of smashed Portal with um, like Toy Story, like it's just got this cartoony, crazy graphics and it's all puzzle based. And I have no idea what the fuzzy thing has to do with it, but oh my God. apparently you drop a lot of safes in this or something. So you gotta give me a minute. <laughs> I'm okay, sad take so your time. Hard to fight off left or right now. Comic mischief. <laughs> <laughs> oh god! All right, all right. Um, oh god, I totally lost my train of thought. There's a movie, and I, I'm failing. <laughs> I'm failing to remember now. Because I had it earlier, and then you freaking got me. I'm not gonna lie, you got me good there. Um, there was a movie exactly like this. Um, oh god, damn it! It has uh, Steve Carell doing the voiceover of the main character. Uh, it's an animated movie. Uh, I think it's from Pixar, actually, now that I think about it. And I just cannot remember it. But it, it's the exact same thing where he ends up actually, like, adopting these kids to try and use them for, like, a an, an evil plan. And he ends up actually getting kind of attached to them. And he's got these little minions, Despicable too. Despicable Me? There you go. There oh, you go. Yeah, I love that. I have Despicable a, it's me. one of the few movies I got on Blu-ray. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> no, that's a great movie. Like, as I was watching the trailer, I was like, dude, this is totally like a video game version of Despicable Me with Portal Elements. <laughs> this is fantastic. Uh, Light bulb. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. There you go. Uh, Zenrock says Gru. That's uh, the name of it. And Sure Kid said Despicable Me. You guys got it. Thank God we have a chat that's uh, really really smart because i'm not uh <laughs> it's so fluffy. all right anyway there you go i got my impression out um <laughs> but yeah like this this game it kind of has despicable me elements to it and i really like that uh watch the trailer 
the trailer's genius. Uh, and I'm not talking about in the live chat. Actually, go for the audio and everything because the whole thing is just so excellently done. And the thing is, is that the guy who does the voiceover for the trailer sounds almost exactly like, uh, what's his name? The guy who plays Fraser Crane. Oh, God, yes. Yeah, Kel- Chelsea Grammer. Chelsea Grammer. Yes. Uh, he sounds almost exactly like him. And the entire time, I'm like, <laughs> this, it, it's got to be Chelsea Grammer. It needs to be. If it's not him, they need to hire him, redo the trailer, and make him do it. Uh, they desperately need, like, a first-level demo. Oh, I mean, yeah. This game would be perfect. But... Yeah. On my wish list, wait for it on sale, because I'm cheap. Yeah, well, the summer <laughs> sale is coming up. I think it's uh, yes. in a week and a half now. Uh, you're going to have a big summer sale. Uh, that's what Steam does every year. they got their two big sales in summer and in winter. And the summer one, they do just as crazy deals, like bundles with like 80% off. And it's just like, oh, man. So, yeah, it, you're, if you're probably going to see this on sale during that, not, I'm going to probably end up with 30 more games. But yeah, no, <laughs> so if you're competing yeah. with me at my library, good fucking luck. Uh, no, 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 no. <laughs> Not you, I'm talking about live no, chat. No, no, oh my god, I, I, I got a hilarious uh, side story that we could tell in between the next section, so remember remember when we finished this, okay. uh, I got a funny podcast story to tell you from vacation. Sounds good. Uh, we're going to move on to Lego, I'm sorry, <clears throat> I, I did it wrong, Lego, registered trademark, Batman 2, <laughs> DC, nice. superheroes, trademark, Legends Unite, exclamation point. <laughs> that is a hell of a freaking intro name. Yeah. Okay. The dynamic duo of Batman and Robin join the famous superheroes, blah, blah, blah. Okay, yeah, it's a Lego game. Just go buy it. You know you love it. I'm not even going to bother reading it. <laughs> it's Lego. <laughs> I mean, have you guys played a Lego game you didn't like somehow deep down? I, I'm i not big into the whole Lego series, to be honest with you. Fuck you. Get off the air. Damn it. <laughs> well, you know what? Okay. I'm going to well, send okay, you here, freaking Magic the say. Gathering. I'm not sure about on pc but when i played it on my playstation that was one of the few games that my three-year-old son could play with me him and i played lego star wars together well no don't get me wrong like i had uh indiana jones for wii uh mm-hmm. and it was the lego version of it and i gotta say one of the greatest things about that game was just whipping around just like going around whack <laughs> it's like what why did you do that for i just felt like it whack <laughs> so i mean like I-, I get it trust me i i understand the novelty of the lego games i'm just not big into it it's just not my thing yeah. Yeah. It's not my okay. thing, yo. Uh, that's cool. But I'm not hating on it. I'm just, I'm <laughs> just not into it. Uh, right now it's ten percent off, twenty six ninety nine. Um, and I, there is a huge note. Uh, if you own Lego Batman, Lego Harry Potter years one through four, Lego Harry Potter's years five through seven, uh, and you purchase this game, uh, you get fifteen percent off on top of that. Nice. And that sale is through the 29th. So basically, if you already own some Legos, it's even cheaper. There you go. Uh, so that's pretty cool. Some stuff from the live chat. Uh, Foundry says, the Lego games are so awesome. My kids love them and play them until they beat them. Uh, it's one of these games that they can use to hone their skills. Uh, Leopard Keeper says, only <laughs> one I wasn't really into was the Potter one. Still, it was great graphics and such was the normal Lego. My freaking screen is blocked. I can't read the rest of that. Sorry. Uh, <laughs> that is his normal Lego humor. There you go. But he couldn't get into it. Got it. Uh, and then, of course, Foundry, after hearing my rant, goes, you're wrong. That's just fact. So. <laughs> um, lastly, uh, we're going to go into uh, what I nominated to be our uh, terrible game idea of the week. Uh, it is Pro Cycling Manager 2012. This is um, oh wait, it's it's all in uppercase. Hang on, I gotta scream it. Oh god, it's the number one cycling game loaded with brand new features for 2012. Oh yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> prepare for a <laughs> prepare to live an iconic 2012 season by taking the lead of one of 81 teams on the professional circuit. <laughs> Good god, 81 teams. Real-time races, sponsors, riders' contracts, training, and equipment. It's all up to you to prove your worth as a manager and lead your team to victory. Yeah! Somewhere. Up, up top. High five. What? No one? There no you one? Go. Okay, there we go. <laughs> Fake high five. There you go. Uh, somewhere, somehow, there's a fat European guy <laughs> who's sitting down, looking at this, and going, Oh, yes, I want to play this game. It looks so good, yeah. Yeah, anyway, uh, 
You know that guy standing outside like a GameStop at midnight wondering why they're not opening? This? <laughs> <laughs> why is there no midnight release? This is amazing. Uh, yeah, no, I, I don't, I don't know. I, I really don't know. Um, that's all I could say about it. All I could do was afterwards I could write, shit just got real. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's that's precisely it. You know, and it was funny too because look, when I'm looking for trailers for games like these, typically every game that I look for trailers on to, to show on on the show, I I usually have to dig through like a bunch because there's always like some kind of watermarking that I really don't want to put on here. I, I there's always like some something that like kind of bugs it and makes it where I can't use it. This game, there was only one trailer that I found for this, <laughs> and it had some like. European dialect in the background. That's why, I, obviously, with the sound muted, it's fine. But, like, it was some, like, German kid talking about the game. I have no clue what the hell he was saying. But it was pretty funny because, like, I'm like, all right, well, I can at least use the video footage, so that's fine. So I went, yoink. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I probably should. That's good cycling. That's good, yeah. No, uh, <laughs> anyway, um, <laughs> got to get. Stop the German accent there. Can we be like a f- like a furry and just jump out in the middle of the, the bike pack like they do in oh, the Tour of France? That would make the game so much better <laughs> if you could wreck the race somehow. You just see like a bunch of people flying off their cyclists. Some streakers, you know, uh, yeah. usual. You know, it's just I understand that you know it's a game, and obviously, <laughs> you know, you got to try and explore new avenues. You got to try and hit new focuses. I don't know if there was ever. I don't know if this is the first version of it. Or if they've done this before. If they have, dear God, why? Um, and I, I'm trying to be realistic about this as humanly possible. I'm sure there's an audience for it. It's a very small audience. But I'm sure <laughs> there's an audience for this. And, and if this is what you're into, the God willing, that's great. But those same people should also get on a bike and go outside and fucking cycle in real life. <laughs> All right? <laughs> it's pro- Watch it be made by like one of them... like. Norwegian countries where it, like it's snowing like eleven months of the year. Oh god, <laughs> where yeah. they can't go outside. Well, they dream of cycling in the sun. But then why don't you just get like a BMX game that actually allows you to control your character? Yeah, they they dream of going out and buying athletic supporters for their team. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Gaming <laughs> in Antarctica <clears throat> by Zenrock. That that's good. I like that. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so my, my two funny podcast stories. Yes. Uh, one, we were sitting here listening to the podcast while we were driving to uh, North Carolina. Nice, like, 13-hour drive, by the way. Mm-hmm. And uh, we were listening to one of our episodes, and we were talking about uh, the game collections. And then uh, you said, oh, I think my collection's, you know, technically worth about $3,000, but I've, I've only paid a third of that, blah, blah, blah. My wife turns to me in the car, and she's like... I will leave you. That's what she said. <laughs> <laughs> I swear to God, that's all she said. She's like, I will leave you. Oh my God, that's hilarious. <laughs> yeah, and then the second one, we were driving back, and I was I was catching up some geek culture happy hour, and she just like, this guy's voice is annoying. And I think she was talking about Andy. <laughs> oh. Like, oh. oh. <laughs> I love Andy. She's like, she's like it was it was the uh the, the Bruce Campbell one. She's like, I don't even know what these movies are. Like, just get out of the car. Just, just, Hit the eject button. Five, just get out of the car. <laughs> so oh. no one tell Andy that he's boring. Oh no, I, I <laughs> like Andy. Wife. I like it. Your wife is wrong. I'm sorry. And if I know. And if she listens to this, I, I hope she does, so I can flat out tell her you're wrong. <laughs> Andy's great, and I'm sure she's talking about Foundry because we all know that Foundry's the real fuck up of geek culture happy hour. It's not. I didn't even (laughs) scratch the surface with Foundry stories. (laughs) Uh, That's. I didn't want things to get weird in the car. Well, (laughs) well, make sure your wife knows that the the value of my Steam account is based off of my my account being made like four or five years ago. So I mean, it (laughs) it wasn't a thousand dollars spent in a month. It was you know a nice span of time. And I really can't believe she says that, knowing your collection that you were showing pictures of on your Twitter. And that scratches the surface of it, too. So it's like, wait a minute. You, good man, is a hypocrite. So, uh, so speaking of beefing up your uh, your games. <clears throat> oh, yes, yes. I guess this is, this is where I take control. 
You poor bastard. terrible uh, introduction yeah. segue. You cheap bastard! This is where we talk about deals for games that is on Steam or outside of Steam that's for Steam. How confusing is that? Inception Gorge! <laughs> uh, first thing that we're going to talk about this week is a deal that is on uh, Gamer's Gate. Uh, they got Burnout Paradise Ultimate for five bucks, and the Ultimate is basically all of the added content for it. So uh, you can get that. It's really, it's actually a pretty cool game. I don't have you ever played Burnout Paradise? I haven't, haven't played it. <laughs> oh. It's in my collection. I played it. I think I got it for like five bucks too. Yeah, yeah. There was, uh, it was on sale on Steam for one weekend, I believe. But um, it's actually a really cool game because uh, you have. It's a lot like GTA in the fact that you can kind of select what what uh quests to take on your racing quests if you will it's the worst term for me to use for it but it's the best thing i got so deal with it um you so you're able to do that and what's cool is is that when you're connected online you're actually paired up with other people that you can do that race with instead of just always playing with npcs so it's really interesting in that dynamic you don't have to do that if you don't want to but you can get in onto the online mode and it, you can also connect online while you're just free roaming and you'll see cars, like, sipping past you. Some of them will be mid-race, and you're just like, gotta get out of the way, gotta get out of the way! So, it's, uh, it's really interesting in those regards. And I, I definitely would suggest checking that out. Uh, as far as the Steam sales, uh, this weekend's Madness is Deus Ex Collection. It's 75% off at $14.99, and that includes Deus Ex Game of the Year Edition, the Deus Ex 2 Invisible War, and Deus Ex 3 Human Revolution, including the three DLCs for it, which is a fantastic deal for these games i've spent easily easily around uh 80 hours playing the games wow. collectively and it, it is a fantastic series to get involved with so if you're into I, like uh, rpg i bought shooters, this collection just based on your excitement yeah <laughs> <laughs> oh man and like the the cool thing about it is is that joe over at uh, lethal injection podcast he was the one that turned me on to it uh, he loaned it to me on PS2, and I fell in love with it, and I've just never looked back since. It's a fantastic <laughs> series. So, um, just read the chat. <laughs> yeah, chat's got some funny stuff. Uh, Bruin says Walmart has underwear on sale for three bucks. That actually sounds like a ripoff. Uh, <laughs> Zenrock <laughs> says turned you on to it. Giggity. Uh, <laughs> hey. Giggity, giggity. Yeah. I think uh, he's trying for a game. <laughs> yeah, I think so. I think now that you've like alluded that you're going to give out free games to the best chat uh, phrases, which, by the way, is a fantastic idea. Uh, <laughs> now everyone's going to be trying to be comics, and it's that's fantastic. Uh, <laughs> so that's good. That's, that's real good. Uh, I may or may not be giving out a copy of Snuggle Truck to the gayest statement of the night. Oh, man. <laughs> Just want to throw that out there. <laughs> gotcha. That's... Anyways, keep going. <laughs> well, that's that's pretty much it. That's all the deals. So... <laughs> okay. Well, eh, no more deals. Yep. 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 <laughs> Besides everything that's on sale. Yeah, pretty much. No. Besides <laughs> everything. <laughs> yeah. Just get in there and click the sale button. Okay. Uh, we're gonna move on to LNS Invades. Yep. Uh, this week we played another round of Team Fortress Two, and I have to admit I had a ton of fun this time because I actually knew what I was doing. There you go. And I had a huge kill streak of two at my peak. Nice. So you know, obviously, I think what happened was uh, two people just were dumb enough to run in front of my lid I was spraying. <laughs> I think that's about it. <laughs> yeah. Live chat's going to laugh at me because I just had to put the uh, the video on the stream because I ran out of scenes to use. I use XSplit, and I didn't have enough scenes to throw it in there, so I just threw the video on. <laughs> that's fine. Um, sorry, guys. I, I'm terrible at this. <laughs> um, but yeah, it was it was a very fun night. I had a blast. We had a Tenarium. I gotta remember to pronounce his name correctly. A very fun British chat who lives in Spain. Yes, I was totally shocked by that. That's that's pretty funny. He well, that's, he works out of Spain. So. Yeah, yeah. That's that's great though. Um, he was a real fun guy to play with. Randark was with us this week as well, and he's always a blast to play with, as we have alluded earlier. <laughs> um, I think uh, B Bruins also joined us this week too and that was a lot of fun uh, and was uh randark was he like the top player yeah in the game? yeah well randark yeah, he decimated us <laughs> randark is sick at team fortress too i mean that guy is just he's good he's real good and i i think i was i was third place on my team by default <laughs> i don't think it was i don't think it was necessarily <laughs> because i was good as you'll see in the video footage that we're streaming just the, the rest show. of the team sucked yeah exactly that was it <laughs> 
That was I, was, I was not on your team, by the way, so yeah. my statistics did not help. <laughs> yeah, I, I hear you on that. Uh, you, I knew I was in the bottom of the barrel, though, because Andy from Geek Culture Happy Hour killed me. So yeah. I, I was doomed at that point. And there was somebody else that killed me, too, that was just kind of like, oh, God, I, just, I should quit now. <laughs> uh, it was just, it was bad. I was not doing good that night. But one of the coolest things about it is, is that we had a lot of fun, as we usually do whenever we do these LNS invades. So I was, it was a really good time. Um, from the chat, uh, Foundry says, because Andy killed you twice. I don't know. Did he kill me twice? I cannot remember, actually. <laughs> <laughs> I was too busy watching my uh, respawn counter. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Uh, me too. <laughs> uh, Zenrock says, Pyro power, absolutely. Although I got, I had a lot more luck playing a soldier this week than I did with Pyro. This level was just not Pyro friendly. <laughs> it just wasn't. And I, tr I actually tried, and you'll see it in the footage right now, I tried to play Sniper, and I suck as a Sniper. I cannot do it. <laughs> it's terrible. So, uh, let's see, what else do we have? Uh, uh, Beat Bruins randomly says, Oh my god, please, I have plenty of Nutella. Or Nutella. That's that uh, peanut butter spread stuff. Yes. Okay. You, you are the <laughs> king of random, dude. I'll tell you that much. Uh, 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 the only thing I really remember was uh, somebody put a random, like, booty shaking spray on the bridge. And oh, I died yeah. a couple times trying to watch that. <laughs> nice. Uh, there was a Tom Cruise spray on the ceiling somewhere, and then, yeah, I, I just remember Andy joining in and asking us how to play. I guess that was his virgin playthrough yeah. or something. Well, he was in Mumble for about a good ten minutes before he, he realized he couldn't talk. So, <laughs> it took him a little <laughs> while to get everything set up, and once he finally did, like, he was a blast to play with. And it was just funny, though, because, like, Randark didn't believe me when I told him, Andy's in Mumble. He's like, no, he's not. He's not talking. No, he is. Look. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah and then poor chris uh tenarium god he halfway through the game like his his mic went out oh that's <laughs> he right didn't realize it for like a half an hour <laughs> yeah apparently he was talking <laughs> shit about me because he was kicking my ass and like he thought i was being a sore loser and just ignoring it i'm like nah dude if there's if there's anything that these playthroughs have taught you guys it's that i'm not a sore loser i accept <laughs> death willingly and profusely <laughs> yeah. in these cases so don't worry about that but it was pretty funny though Yep, yep, yep. Okay, uh, next week, do we want to do that? What's written yeah. down? Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. I think it'll be a Hell lot of fun. Uh, yeah, next week, everyone download and play through and get ready. Get to the hub town of Vindictus. Uh, we're definitely going to play this. Um, so everybody get out there, create your character with or without chesticles, and uh, get through the, uh, the, the, the spider stage. Yeah. And hopefully we could walk viper through that you, you want to play my account maybe <laughs> <laughs> no I, it's like the tutorials so no no you know. I, I i'll be okay like foundry can attest to this like there's just a shitload of gigantic spiders uh especially in um i'm gonna kind of sound a little nerdy here in wow on nax there's a gigantic spider as one of the bosses uh as a, as a few of the bosses actually and uh as much as an arachnophobe as i am i can deal with it in these kind of cases, you know, it it's okay. Like, even in Skyrim, they had a gigantic spider, and I, it creeped me the fuck out, I'm not going to lie. <laughs> but I was able to play through it, beat it. Afterwards, I had to wash my hands about 20 times. But I was able to get through it, so I'll be fine. <laughs> Just don't be surprised if I have to take about a 10-minute break afterwards to wash myself. To <laughs> clean the spider disease off my body. Well, from what I gather, it's just the opening level. So once yeah. you get through that, you're good. Okay. So. Sounds great. Sounds <laughs> and then, great. Yeah, it's after you beat the spider that you do the character creations. Okay. Just FYI. <laughs> well, thank, thank you for that heads up. <laughs> um, yeah. Also, when you meet with us, uh, be ready. Be in the hub town at uh, the, the starting time. And also, make sure you jump on Mumble first so you can sort of hear what's going on. So. Yeah. And I just recently upgraded our Mumble 2 because uh, I was a little worried. I think a couple of people got locked out when we were doing Team Fortress 2 uh, last week. Uh, we had more than 10 people playing with us, but we, we couldn't have all of them in, in Mumble this week. So I upgraded it. It's a 25 slaughter now, so we should be able to accommodate for everybody. <laughs> I apologize for my fail. You said slaughter. <laughs> slaughter. Did I say slaughter? <laughs> Anyways. I, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
Don't judge me. We're going to move on to new school, old school. Apparently, I'm the only one that wrote anything down this week, so I will start. <clears throat> well, yeah, because uh, I was going to talk about what you were talking about, basically. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> the same exact stuff? Yep. Uh, well, this week, uh, we, we laid in hard and heavy into uh, Lord of the Rings Online. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'm personally, I think, like a level nine uh, minstrel. Yes. A female okay. minstrel. No. A female yeah. elven okay. <laughs> minstrel. You can't get more fruity than that. <laughs> that is that is it. That's that's the top. Yeah, yeah. Okay. And of course, I played Vindictus, <laughs> which is brand new, and yeah. I finally beat Beer Esther. And nice. I am totally going to do a full live stream <laughs> replay of Dear Esther. Uh, so it's going to be fantastic. Cool. My old games I've been playing. I finally sat down and I beat V V V V V V. And I'm about halfway through Cthulhu Saves the World, and I'm loving that. So Nice. Yeah, that, that that's my mindless game this week, is you sort of just leave it running, and then you sort of jump in and out of it. Oh. Very cool, very cool. Um, I, well, as you were talking about, I played Lotro, and uh, it was kind of funny because we, we were able to get in Mumble with Foundry, and that kind of made the experience a little better for me, I'm not going to lie, being able to kind of converse while I'm uh, playing this game. And... It was funny, too, because we didn't completely connect as far as what server we were going to play on. So I, I made a character on a, on a server, made a, an archer, elephant archer, and I'm playing through it. I'm, I'm having a really good time. I'm not going to lie. It was fun. I, I didn't necessarily like the archer so much, but I get all the way to the end of it. We get to the hub, and I'm, I'm like, all right, dude, what's your name? I can't find you. What, what's going on? I, I can't find you. And sure enough, <laughs> we realize... We're on two different servers. Now, anyone who's played an MMO knows that characters are server-based. So if you make a, a character on one server and your friend makes a character on another server, that's it. You're not playing those two <laughs> characters together, bottom line. So I had to go to, to DJ's server just because at that point in time I was familiar enough with the, uh, <laughs> with the, uh, the intro section. I was like, you know, I'm just, I, I need to make a new character anyway. The archer sucks. So I played the champion, blazed through that. We got there. We're at the hub. We're ready to go. And then Foundry joins, and he goes, "Can you guys wait for me? I I just made a new character too. I'm gonna I'm gonna blaze through this." I'm like, "Okay." <laughs> so me and DJ are literally just like at the hub, jumping around like lunatics, <laughs> running around like, "Oh, dude, there's a horse!" Yeah, you know, where's Randark? Uh, you know, just having a ball, waiting and shit. And it was fun. It was a lot of fun though. Um. I, I really like Lotro, and I, I know that we have some plans for it in the future that we'll talk about uh, at a later date, but um, it's a lot of fun. I think I'm only at level 7 right now. I actually did start doing some of the quests uh, at another another time, so it was uh, it was a fun experience, though. As far as old school games, I am playing, or actually, it's not even technically an old school game. I'm playing Cube, which you can tell through my LP series, uh, which episode 2, like I talked about earlier, will be coming out soon. Um Cube is a lot of fun. It's hard as fuck uh, oh, yeah. later on. <laughs> it I, looks like it. <laughs> like the first, you know, in the, in my first LP, like, you see me going through the first three, sect- three sectors, like, no, this, this is nothing. Uh, in the second episode, you'll see me go through sectors four and five, and it's freaking tough. <laughs> it's like, I swear to God, there was a couple of times where I had to mute my mic and just start head bashing my keyboard because I'm like, "Why isn't this working?" So it it takes a little getting used to, but uh, it's a lot of fun. And I've also been playing a little more Terraria again. I know I talked about this like the past two episodes, but <laughs> I'm really digging Terraria and I'm having a lot of fun with it now that I understand the fucking game. So <laughs> there you go. Well, I'm uh, as we speak, I'm gifting. A copy of Snuggle Truck to for questionable statements in chat to Fondre. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that is awesome. That is awesome. Uh, probably the Bruins, you need to uh, you need to friend me in Steam, and I'll send you the, your copy of the ship. There you go. We could there be semen go. together if you know what I mean. All right. Well, before we continue on, I do actually have a game that I'm going to give away personally, uh, and it's it's funny because I was. <laughs> I was going to ask a snuggle, uh, snuggle truck question, and that that's not going to work now. Um, so don't mind me, uh, but we're, I'm going to give away a copy of Rush, and that's it's, it's a similar cube puzzle game that I think you guys will enjoy. And uh, let's see, how are we going to have you guys oh. earn that? 
Steam's website's just it just went down. I know. I just noticed that. <laughs> uh, <laughs> That's the fun of doing live shows. Wah, wah. Uh, okay, I'll tell you what. Uh, we'll we'll do it this way. Uh, if you guys are familiar with the the first time that we played the Team Fortress Two and we did the live streamers, it's a video that's online, so you're able to see this. Uh, who was the other host that killed me? And I pretty much knew that I was at the bottom of the barrel. When it was almost exactly the same situation as Andy, but for a different show. And if you can answer that, I will give you a copy of Rush. And if you can't, we'll probably do like some stupid one through ten thing. Uh, you don't even know, do you? <laughs> no. <laughs> you should know. You worked with him. What? Oh. You know now? Um. No. I. I'll, I'll be brutally honest. I wasn't paying attention. Oh. <laughs> what was the question again? <laughs> the question was. <laughs> that's my. Problem. I'm sorry. Steam's website came back up. I'm trying to update something. <laughs> yeah. Gotcha. Uh, it was another. It was another host. For a show, and I'll even I'll even give this in. It's a Minecraft show, um, hmm. where the host of that show was playing Team Fortress Two the first time that we did it for the LNS Invades, and he killed me. And just like with Andy, I knew that I was at the bottom of the barrel. Win. Oh yeah, I know who you're talking about. Now. Yeah. yeah. Uh, <laughs> Foundry says Joe from Limp. No, it's not Joe. No, 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 no. No. Sounds like Garfield the cat. Yeah. <laughs> 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 We love him. Yes, we love him very much. Uh, the whole the whole show is fantastic. So, uh, doesn't look like anyone's getting it, or they probably didn't even watch the first invasion. So, it was an hour long, so I don't blame them. Uh, no, he's on the show now. <laughs> Bruin says DJ. No, he's on the show now. I'm still going with Joe. Says Foundry. Now you guys fail. All right. No, he's talking about Brad from. Uh, this week in Minecraft. There you go. There you go. Yeah, Brad <laughs> killed me. <laughs> Padre says, you're wrong, Scott. Yeah, sounds about right. Uh, all right. Uh, so <laughs> we'll just do a 1 through 10 thing since that failed miserably. I'm thinking of a number through uh, from 1 through 10. If you guess the number right, first person that does it, I'll give you a copy of Rush. 11. Yeah, good good guess. Good guess. That worked out beautifully. Damn it, i got to give the copy to DJ now. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody gave a decimal point. Yeah, decimal points doesn't count. I'm going to go by the first number, and so far the correct answer has not been set on chat. Uh, there's only been one number. <laughs> there's, there's like two now. I wonder how long the delay is. I know, I know. That's freaking Twitch. We can't, we can't worry about that. Uh, this is not like nine hour delay or something like that. No, no. I think it's only two minutes. Like not even two minutes. I think it's one minute. Uh, no, you guys are wrong so far. And there's like repeat guesses going on. <laughs> six 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 is it six it's gotta be six it's six make it six it's gotta be six come on make it six it's six right oh my god it's six no no it's not six. <laughs> oh, oh, short kid got it short kid got it it's nine short kid has won himself a copy <laughs> uh short kid you get a copy of uh rush make sure to oh. add me nah not snuggle truck you gave out snuggle truck <laughs> i gave snuggle uh Make sure to add me on Steam if you haven't. Or, oh, actually, no, I think, I, yeah, I have you on Steam already. Uh, once Steam gets back up, I'll gift you a copy of Rush. I well, hope it's you back, enjoy it's it. It's back up now. So. Oh, okay, cool, cool. Um, so now that we got... <laughs> While you're doing that, I'm going to go over the Shady Earl of the Week. Oh, oh, hold, uh, hold, 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 hold on, hold on. Okay, pause, now time, go time, to the pause, Shady Earl of the Week. <laughs> now uh, do it. This week, we went with uh, www.lotro.com. It becomes... <clears throat> Http 5 zainfo slash kill all immigrants underscore some letters underscore ninja star roulette. Wow. That is just fantastic. Wow. Do you feel like uh, part of a fellowship now that you uh, play ninja star roulette and kill immigrants? Uh, you know, it's funny that it says kill immigrants considering that you only get certain races depending on where <laughs> you select your character at. Anyone else found that good? I know Foundry did. He he kind of had like a bit like a racist rant about it. He was upset because he couldn't play a black elf. <laughs> I, I I was upset. Was. That was me. Oh, that was you. That was okay. me. I am a huge dark elf fan, and I could not play as a dark elf, so I was like all sad about it. But uh, <laughs> yeah, uh, but that was funny. That was that was real funny. Uh, Lotro is racist, as Foundry <laughs> says. You can't have Mister T. Yeah. I've been in the fool who don't know Locho lore. That's right. 
Um, I guess we're going to move on to the Steam discussion. And, uh, Scott, we need to um, come up with something for next week. I just put that in there to be funny. Oh, okay. (laughs) (laughs) I love how we talk about this live on the show. (laughs) We'll do it live. Do it live. Fuck it. it. (laughs) (laughs) This week's discussion is controller enabled. Are you the type to ditch the mouse and keyboard? Does that game that uh, not have a controller... Does the game that doesn't have controller support built in aggravate you? And does it ultimately determine if you buy a game or not? I'm going to make this easy and say no. <laughs> <laughs> I, yeah, I, I, I don't use controller on my, on my, uh, my Mac or my PC, so... Gotcha. Um... I'm going to say that it it doesn't affect whether I play a game or buy a game, but there is certain games that is best played with a controller, and one of the examples of this is Binding of Isaac. Uh, it's it's playable with the keyboard, but it is a lot better to play it with a controller because like it kind of has like the Smash TV style dual joysticks feel to it where you got to you know choose the direction of your aiming while choosing the direction of your moving. So in that case, it works out better. Uh, Mutant Storm also kind of strikes me as one of those games that just needs a controller. You can play it with keyboard if you really want to, but it's better with the controller. Uh, but I know I, I'm probably going to go out on a limb here and just make an assumption, but I, I just from my own personal experience, when I talk to people who have played on game console and PC or Mac, mm. it seems like most of the people who have done controller stuff on their PC also own xboxes because of the simplicity to sort of jack in your xbox and controller in your pc is that correct makes sense yeah but i mean that's that's pretty much my controller owners like myself you really i mean you could do it but you gotta just i mean it requires a little finagling and <laughs> yeah it's possible to use a playstation controller on you know like a mac or a pc but it's just like in my case i would literally have to go out and buy an xbox controller <laughs> yeah, because I yeah. just don't have one. Yeah, I mean that's exactly what I do. I have a wired 360 controller that I use for my PC. You know, for games that require it. Uh, I also have like a, a 360 right next to my PC for when I want to play like my own games. So that because mm-hmm. like my TV has been completely commandeered by my family. There's just no way for me to play it. So <laughs> I have like my ghetto Xbox right next to me whenever I want it. But um. I got a couple of friends. One of them actually is John from the Lethal Injection Minecraft podcast. He he refuses to play certain games unless it has controller support. Really? And one of them being uh, Call, of, Call of Duty Modern Warfare. Uh, he did not want to play Modern Warfare 3 because it doesn't have built-in controller support, but Black Ops does. So it, it's one of those things where like he he has to have it. He will not play a first-person shooter without a controller. So it's it's interesting. I mean, you know, it you're entitled to that if that's how you want to play your games. Totally, so be it. I understand that. But me yeah. personally, like I've grown up with first person shooters on PC. The thought of using joysticks to aim versus a mouse and keyboard is foreign to me. So like <laughs> I I have to have my mouse and keyboard whenever I'm playing like any first person shooter. So uh, it's just it's one of those things. I have to do it. It's so much better. It's so much more accurate. I just I have to do it that way. And this is coming from a guy who sucks balls at Team Fortress 2, mind you. But I'm great at Modern Warfare. I would fucking murder you on there. But nonetheless. Anyway. uh, So we got some uh, comments from chat. Uh, Foundry says, no, but it is kind of aggravating when they only support a certain controller. Bastion is a good example of this. Uh, Bruin says that he prefers mouse and keyboard. Uh, Foundry also says that uh, he uh, loves mouse and keyboard. Uh, Leopard Keeper says, I love his gamepad setup, get joy to key. Uh, I'm assuming that uh, he's talking about the program that allows you to basically have controller support on games that might not natively have it. Uh, yes. I, so. If you ever actually, not to completely sidetrack, no, but like if, if anybody ever does um, uh, emulation on Mac, I actually put on my own private uh, DJ Pimp Daddy movies uh, YouTube channel. Um, there's a an excellent tutorial I put out there on how to like actually rig up a Nintendo controller to play through your Mac. Nice, and it's got a couple different programs you got to, but it works perfectly. So yeah, I actually using that I did actually play 
I tried playing Minecraft with a Nintendo controller. Nice. But um, it's uh, I've actually had a ton of feedback from that video from people who are just like, thank you for making this video. Because it's just like, <laughs> on a Mac, it's just like, it's it's the wild west of, of just crazy ideas. So Gotcha. <laughs> uh, Leper Keeper corrected me. Uh, he was talking about Binding of Isaac, how like literally his controller support is, uh, you see like a little wit- message that says, get joy to key. So that's what he was talking about. That's pretty funny. <laughs> Um, but yeah, so, uh, there you go. I think short, what is that? I'm sorry. Good use of the word finagle by short kid. I'm not sure what he's talking about. (laughs) All right, there you go. (laughs) (laughs) So obviously you say nay, you don't need controller support in order to buy a game. I say nay, but it helps. Uh, and I think the majority of the chat room pretty much says keyboard and mouse. So, yeah. Uh, so we'll we'll go ahead. We'll have to post the uh, the next week's Steam discussion on our forums, and so you guys know what the heck we're going to talk about next week. Uh, because I, I love what DJ put in here. This is a joke. This is not our next week's discussion, by the way. Uh, but he says next week's sex with Linux, drunk or sober. I gotta say, he sounds like he'd be a lot more fun drunk. I, I'm gonna go drunk too. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> He sounds like he would be a far better lay. As a We're joke. talking like cowboy hats screaming at the top of his lungs. Oh my god! Like <laughs> I, I honestly cannot wait. It, <laughs> uh, I can't wait for him to watch episode two of Q because I know how he is. He's so judgmental <laughs> about our videos, but yet doesn't release any fucking thing himself. But <laughs> I can just see him going right now. Hey, come on! You sweat the answers right there. What are you, you fucking doing? I should Let's do go! Complete, I should do a complete Let's Play of um, Gish. <laughs> and then we'll film his reaction and we'll just post that. <laughs> oh, yeah, dude. That, that would be fantastic. Be so if we could somehow get just him... Just fucking jump already! Just fucking jump! <laughs> jump! <laughs> uh, I, you know, and it's funny because he aggravates me when he does that shit. But at the same time, it's so funny. You can't oh, be yeah. mad at him over it. It's like he's so <laughs> hilarious when he gets like uh, aggravation. So, <laughs> uh, Bruin Linux. Bruin says drunk all the way. What's up, bitches? <laughs> Aren't you like sixteen? <laughs> <laughs> okay, that might have been a little judgmental. Sorry. Uh, <laughs> Short kid says lightly buzzed. Just enough. Just we'll enough. Have to come up with a good discussion. <laughs> We probably should have made that the discussion next week. We probably would have got a good good few answers for that. Uh, <laughs> wow, there's a, an actual answer in chat. You want to read that? Oh, about uh, Leopard Keeper? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Uh, Leopard Keeper says, I do love my fair share of twin stick shooters, and those are the ones that have to have controller support, and normally do. Damn you, Edmund McMillan! Otherwise, for it's all keyboard and mouse. That's a damn good answer. answer. That's a damn good answer. I like that. So, <laughs> Leopard Keeper is awesome. Ever since like he started getting into the stream, man, I I really enjoy his comments. He's awesome. He he blew up our forums with with just <laughs> fantastic posts. Like you know, don't get me wrong. Like you know, obviously everyone kind of gets a little itchy when it comes to like forum spam, but this isn't spam. Like he's posting good stuff. Oh, so yeah. let him lead the way. This is what you guys need to do. Get on the forums. Post your opinions. Let us know what you're doing, man. We're really interested in hearing it. So good on Leopard for uh, kind of showing him how it's done. So. That's right. And yeah. Bruins, don't forget to friend me for your copy Mm-mm. of uh, The Ship. <laughs> yeah, I think I have him on my friends list. I'm not sure. I know he's I, in the group. I have to look. Yeah. 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 We'll f- you can find him. Anyway. That's way too much clicking right now. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, that's that's pretty much it for this week. Thank you guys so much in the live chat for coming. You guys are a blast every time we do this. Uh, be sure to join our Steam group over at steamcommunity.com slash group slash LN. I think it's Late Night Steamer, actually. Uh, I'll have to look that up while I'm talking about this. Uh, but anytime, <laughs> anytime we do shows, we post it in advance on our group for you guys to know when we're going to get our live show going. So if you join that group, uh, it's the best way to do it. It's Late Night Steamer, by the way. So it is Late Night Steamer. Yeah, steamcommunity.com <laughs> slash group slash Late Night Steamer. Join it so you can get uh, a, a good, you know, post-war or pre-warning about when we're going to do our next show. 
Uh, we already have episode 13 scheduled for July 1st at 10.30 Eastern, 9.30 Central. That's U.S. time, of course. So okay. join us then. We'll have just as much fun next week as we did this week. And thank you guys so much for coming. Uh, DJ, anything you got to say before we get the hell out of here? Perfect. Absolutely perfect. Do you want to end this on a high note? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> if you could call that a, a high note. Uh, Actually, you know, we, we miss Lennox. We need him. He brings us back to Earth. No, that's a bullshit lie. <laughs> that's bullshit. He does not. He... First off, I think what he does is is he does twin, and he gets all like you know casually. He's just typical Linux. Talks about it. All, totally. <laughs> then cool. he wants to play with then, the adults. Then he comes on freaking late night steamer. What the fuck is up, guys? Yeah, <laughs> let's go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Let's go. Uh. <laughs> Sound effects blazing and everything. So no, he doesn't balance this. He makes us worse, and I love it. Uh, <laughs> Uh, I love it. Chat Foundry said, "Time for some snuggle truck." <laughs> yeah, it is time. It, for it has some begun. Truck. It has begun. Uh, and we've started having uh, various developers follow our podcast. I've noticed <laughs> I think that one of them was the snuggle truck guys. Yeah, I didn't mean to ask them because I, I was looking at their website and they have um, they're coming out with another game, but it's only on iPad. So I'm just like, aw, yeah. that's sad. <laughs> Yeah, but I mean, with that new uh, operating system coming out for Mac, isn't it where, like, basically all the applications are going to just kind of blend together? I probably... Because <laughs> I, I think that's what I remember reading, is that they're going to allow it where um, all the applications that you can get on your iPad and your iPhone, you'll be able to play on your uh, your Mac as well. So, Sounds right. <laughs> I, would hope, I would hope that my, uh, my 8 core, or my 8 Xeon core Mac Pro could possibly play something that my iPad can handle, but... Possibly. <laughs> I don't know, dude. I mean, eight quarters, that's, that's not a lot. I'm sorry, no, no, no. you're slacking. So, no, no. Alright, let's get the fuck out of here. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I'll see you next week, guys. Take care. See ya.